Ladies and gentlemen, physical non-invasive brain stimulation was first performed by Dr. Carletti in 1938 with electric current, the electroconvulsive therapy. Uh, later, 1985, another quantity or type of stimulation came in, uh, the transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS. Both techniques uh, have the disadvantage that the penetration depth is uh, relatively low and the targeting is limited, as you can see on these two images. Nowadays, another uh, stimulation uh, methods imaging uh, the mechanical stimulation here we can recognize uh, two uh, distinguish two methods the transcranial extracorporeal shockwave therapy or transcranial pulse stimulation tps first applied by dr lose 2005 for the treatment on responsive wakefulness syndrome and the transcranial focus ultrasound uh, first introduced by Dr. Legon, 2014. Both methods are using um, similar setup with infrared camera uh, navigation or documentation support. Uh, with TPS, uh, there is no need to shave the patient's head because with sufficient gel, uh, enough shockwave energy is transmitted to the brain. For transcranial focus ultrasound, there is also a high fu version, so-called magnetoresonance guided focus ultrasound for tissue ablation. Uh, the tissue ablation in the brain was first performed by Anne Martin in 2009. Now, when we have a look at the different signal forms, so we see the TPS, the shockwave pulse, is uh, having a very steep, uh, high positive pulse and uh, broader uh, negative pulse. So it's very significantly asymmetrical. Due to it, uh, it transports momentum in the tissue. Compared to it, ultrasound is continuous strain of pulses uh, with similar widths like the um, shock wave. Uh, but the amplitude is typically lower in the range of 3 megapascal compared to 25 megapascal. Now, uh, comparing the uh, frequency range, we see that the TPS is multi frequency signal. Uh, so it contains a number of frequencies uh, uh, up to 20 megahertz. Compared to it, it's uh, the ultrasound on a single, single frequency signal uh, with minor harmonics. Uh, now comparing the repetition rate, uh, on the upper line you see the uh, shockwave pulse with slow repetition frequency of typically 5 hertz. And uh, compared to it, uh, ultrasound uh, here is with 0.5 megahertz. Uh, it's uh, significantly um, higher range and it results also that the uh, average power density is significantly higher for focus ultrasound up to 10,000 watts per square centimeter compared to 0.1 watt per square centimeter. In order to stimulate tissue and not heating it up, you need to uh, lower the amplitude and also shorten the application time. This happens by using a short bursts of uh, pulses, uh, here shown typically one millisecond. It contains 500 pulses at frequency of 0.5 megahertz. And a uh, set of such a pulses are uh, then uh, repeated with a slower frequency. So you have a two stage of bursting. Here the uh, intensity is decreased down to 25 watt per square centimeter, which is of course still higher compared to the shockwave pulses. Here the typical scale up to a staging, the lower stage uh, with a one millisecond uh, uh, burst and a package of these bursts uh, repeated at further lower frequency. The focal size is comparable. Uh, you see on the left side, the transcranial focus ultrasound. Uh, the uh, longer focal area has appeared in these images uh, generated by Truong 
is due to the continuous strain of pulses. Uh, this uh, TPS, the complete length of the focal zone, is here not visible because the uh, shockwave pulses are very short, containing one of two of these ultrasound pulses. By averaging, of course, we can see the whole size of these uh, focal areas, which are obviously very comparable. Now to the uh, biological uh, reactions of these two kinds of stimulations. TPS, uh, the biological stimulation is uh, uh, described by the process of trans mechanical transduction. That means the transformation of mechanical stimulation to biological processes. There is a relative uh, a large number of these effects, which has been very well investigated uh, during the last 30 years. The servo permeability increase, stimulation of mechanical sensitive chain ion channels, release of nitric oxide resulting in vasodilatation, increased metabolism, and anti inflammatory effect, uh, growth factor release, as example here, VEGF responsible for angiogenesis, and uh, together with BDNF for neurogenesis, stimulation of stem cells, and stimulation of innate immune system. Compared to, uh, to it with transcranial focus ultrasounds, the list is much shorter. Uh, we have the, here the possibility of drug delivery, delivery, delivery through the blood brain barrier uh, by sonoporesis uh, or by soft cavitation using ultrasound contrast agent, or the neuromodulation using the similar effects of stimulating neurosensitive ion channels. It has been shown co uh, by uh, Kubanek that this neuromodulation effect is really only due to the mechanical stimulation, in spite of the fact that the focus ultrasound have also thermal effects. It means that neuromodulation always contains also some kind of uh, heating effect, and that is uh, the necessity to um, have the right balance between the heating and the mechanical stimulation effect. Uh, the heating effect is also um, usable for uh, therapy by tissue coagulation or ablation in case, for example, of cancer. This is high for application. Now here's a short summary of these uh, key factors describing TPS in transcranial focus ultrasound. To make it uh, more uh, obvious or clear, uh, the important uh, differences, the uh, different repetition uh, pulse rate between TPS and transcranial focus ultrasound, uh, the um, broad uh, frequency spectrum uh, representing the multi-frequency uh, character of the signal, the higher amplitude, uh, uh, pressure amplitude, the significantly lower uh, average power density, uh, resulting of no heating effect, and in spite of it, uh, still a number of uh, biological effects. Finally, uh, this equipment for TPS is meanwhile CE mark uh, for the treatment of a central nervous system of patients with Alzheimer's disease. Thank you for your attention.